we've learned about our sense organs earlier our sense organs help us to taste touch see smell and hear what about the animals do they have senses yes they do they have senses and they use their senses to find out about their surroundings they use their senses to locate food to sense danger you will be surprised to know that they have highly developed sense organs let's look at the sense of smell first can you think of an animal which has got an excellent sense of smell dog this is why the police use dogs to help them catch thieves and also use them for rescue operations and smell with their thin and long antennae it helps them to recognize their friends follow trails laid down by their friends and also find food how about snakes and lizards they don't have a nose they stick their tongue out to catch scent and smell particles in the air that's how they find food that's how they detect their enemies the spiders smell through their legs they've got some special organs on their legs to detect smell now let's look at the sense of touch can they feel something do they have a sense of touch cats have you seen the whiskers on the cats they are special hair that sticks out from their cheeks chin and above their eyes these whiskers help the cats find their way around in the dark i have always wondered how cats are so good in the night the answer is whiskers can you think of another animal which has got a great sense of touch let me give you a clue you find them in water they are good at swimming you've got it fish a fish has an amazing sense of touch they've got their sensory organs along the line of their head and trunk that's how they are able to feel the changes in water pressure and move to safer places let's talk about the sense of taste get ready for some really interesting things imagine tasting a pizza with your feet funny right not for the butterflies and house flies they have their taste receptors on their feet how would it be if you could taste with any part of your body you wouldn't know right the earthworms they have their entire body covered with taste receptors they must be hungry all the time well there are a lot of animals who taste with their tongues cheetahs lions dogs cats we've learned earlier how snakes smell with their tongue they can also taste with their tongue now let's look at the sense of hearing tigers and leopards have got great sense of hearing their hearing is so good that they can listen even to the slightest sound made by their prey that is why they are such good hunters crocodiles have an amazing sense of hearing they have the ability to hear the voice of their young ones while the young ones are still inside their egg shells spiders and cockroaches actually don't hear but they use the hair and the tiny slits on their bodies to detect vibrations of sounds bats are super cool they can actually see with sound bats make these high pitched sounds called ultrasonic sounds these sounds are not audible to the human ear the echoes of these sounds help the bats to locate food and obstacles as far as 18 feet away can you believe that by the way dolphins have got the best ears they can hear 14 times better than humans now let's talk about the sense of sight birds have got amazing sense of sight they actually survive because of their sense of sight have you heard of the expression birds eye view it means to have an overall view of things just like the bird they've got sharp vision and they can see long range eagles vultures hawks these birds can spot their prey from kilometers away nocturnal animals 
have got amazing night vision. What are nocturnal animals? These animals are active during the night. Can you think of some animals like them? Cats, bats, owls, they've got amazing night vision. How cool is that? Flies and honeybees have got a pair of compound eyes. These eyes have got thousands of lenses. The images received from all these are put together in the insect's brain to give them a complete image. I am tired. I think I need to get some sleep. Hey, do animals sleep? Yes, of course. They need rest and they need sleep just like us. Not all animals sleep the same way. Dolphins sleep with only one half of their brain at a time. This prevents them from drowning. Sea otters hold hands and sleep so they don't drift away. How sweet is that? Giraffes, they can go weeks without sleep. Migratory birds like flamingos and cranes, they sleep while flying. Cows sleep close to their families and sometimes with their eyes open. Elephants, zebras and horses, they can sleep while standing. They need to be alert, you see, because they are prey animals. Bats sleep upside down, hanging from a tree. Now let's talk about endangered animals. Endangered animals are those animals that are very few in number. Why are their numbers reducing? It's because many people kill them for their fur, skin, bones. They use those things to make products and sell it at a high price. Some people do this illegally. They capture and hunt these animals illegally. That's called poaching. Here are a few endangered animals. The black rhino, jaguar, Bengal tiger. Talking about tigers, our country used to have a lot of tigers, but they are disappearing at an alarming rate. So the government of India launched a program in 1973 called Project Tigers. Under this project, they set up tiger reserves across the country to protect these tigers. How can we protect our wildlife? Three things we can do easily. Number one, let's learn about them. Number two, let's stop buying products made from these endangered animals. Number three, let's stop cutting trees and plants. Trees and plants provide food and shelter to these animals. There are several organizations that have come forward to protect our wild animals. PETA is the most famous one, People for Ethical Treatment of Animals. There are many organizations in our country as well. You can take some time to do some research and find out the work they do. And they also have ideas and suggestions for us to be involved with them in some way or the other. So let's be responsible citizens and make this world a better place for animals as well. Bye-bye.